Okay, so, so make sure you're kind of squeezing, like don't rotate, but squeeze into like your, your left hip and left shoulder as you kind of make that connection, you know, the rotation. Like that fast twitch, and then over and around, yeah. Okay, make sure again, chest, inner thigh muscle compression. As you look, compress, then release, knee. Then first look, then like keep your body mass where it is, but again, inner thigh muscle, chest, compress quickly, and then release, knee. Yeah, same thing, yeah? But obviously weight shift. Sa. Okay, a good shoulder, that cheek, oh, good vibration. Okay, keep that form, don't lean. Just kick, punch, sat. Okay, again, don't rotate this way, only rotate clockwise, yeah? Clockwise rotation here, so that's even clockwise. Then knee time. Then when you step, don't step kind of direct, kind of a little bit offline, it makes the next move easier, and nobody ever notices. So there's my kick, punch, sat. You can still face in 45 degrees, but your feet in this kind of showman axis are in his in line. Right? So, so from here, it's really easy to transition back. Keep that fist close to your body as you transition back in. Yeah. Okay, then next move, chest compress, kind of inner thigh muscle compress, but let your hip lead. So don't, don't overstep, don't understep, just depending on your flexibility, let your hip rotate and make sure yeah. Then from here, you're in kind of Shizen, not Hamni, not Shomin, but Shizen. So from Shizen, then to Hamni, H. Then maintain that form as you transition. Maintain, stretch your chest, put your chest into that shape, and then release here. Then the time vibration. Yeah? The exact same. Like allow, allow your hip to leave, yeah? Hip to leave, then block here. Then from that natural neutral position to Hamni, knee. Then draw, sam. Ah, she got. Okay, next one. Bit of thigh muscles and pecs squeeze, yeah? So, as you do, you'll probably pivot on your heel, but this 90 degrees kind of grabbing, palm to palm, about head height, but from this, this direct position, you cut here. Knee. First look, then hit hand. Sam, pull. Then make sure hip vibration. Hip vibration, hand up, right hand up to your ear, and shut off here. Knee. Yes, okay, so not onto your, your left leg or right leg line, but down your centre. So from here, right leg move back, front leg, left leg move across. And this sliding edge. Then again, knee, knee, Okay, from here, don't overly prepare. Don't under prepare. Just allow the opening of your chest and the softening of your elbow to kind of prepare for that shooter to come around. It's and then don't make a small movement, like it's a, it's a proper technique. So make sure that you're kind of coming into your hand, into your hand and execute the knee. Like this used to be fast, yeah? The original pattern, this was fast. Then it became slow and then over time, people just did a, did a hand movement. But, but still, it's full shoot on, yeah? Then the chest open. Chest open the round. Then the knee. Then, then from this point, like, that back leg is the anchor, so don't kind of go in, have a feeling of coming back. So get the hand across first, and then drive that right side, hip in, which brings that left side back a little bit. Okay, tap and squeeze. This my baby squeeze. Okay, again, don't over-rotate. So you don't under-rotate either. If you're blocking, get on bribe, kind of 45 degrees. That hip position, you maintain. Okay, then exactly the same. Okay, exact same, yeah? They sweep and pull. Okay, next one. Maintain your form, yeah? Then this is a little bit difficult side, but you're trying to get this preparation first. Preparation, then before you move your leg, this is the position you make, then leg and hand, same time, land as you punch the edge. And then release. Hip vibration, yeah? Then next one. And this one's a lot easier. This preparation is easier. Also, because it's opposite leg, opposite hand, there's that kind of cross, uh, cross stretch. So this squeeze, punch, knee. Okay, again, don't rotate, squeeze in. Squeeze into your hip, squeeze into your shoulder, and round, here. Okay, try to maintain shoulder. Don't, don't rotate this way, only rotate clockwise, and then this uh, 
Rotation then. Right. Next one. Don't need to make kicker tape. Just directly up. Okay. Next one. Don't feel like you're leaning. Like you're not trying to hit somebody behind. Feel like you you blocked. You grab and you're going to headbutt someone. Yeah. So that headbutt it means chest open rather than uh, like chest open head up rather than chin down and bum out. That's not what you're looking for. Yeah. This stretch. The stretch back in and knee drive. And this one is exactly the same. Don't, don't, don't step and then rotate. Drop and drive. Like so we step and then rotate to position. No, drop and then drive into stance. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Then smoothly moving in and knee. And knee. Then drive into stance. Ah! And again, hip dictates how you move. Yeah. Thank you.